So welcome back to Shenzhen semi-final Saturday here at the leaning China Masters. A Super 750 event on the HSBC BWF World Tour. Two more semi-finals to come. Next up is men's singles and it's Kenta Nishimoto of Japan up against the left-handed Chinese player Chou Junpeng. Well, as far as the Chinese player is concerned, what a welcome return to form. First semi-final since his bronze medal at the World Championships last year. So as we saw earlier, the World Championship silver medalist Kodai Naraoka is through to the final in that all Japanese men's singles semi in the top half of the draw. And this the most diverse of all five disciplines, six different nationalities at quarterfinal stage. All the other disciplines, just four different nationalities at quarterfinal stage. So Kenta Nishimoto of Japan makes his way into the arena. He's been in two finals already this year. He won the Spain Masters 300 event and reached the final in Hong Kong where he lost out to Jonathan Christie. Jonathan Christie, one of two seeds to pull out of the men's singles tournament here at the China Masters. The other one, of course, was the number one seed, Victor Axelson. Chao Chung Pung. How lovely to see him playing well again. We all thought a year ago when he won a bronze medal at the Tokyo World Championships losing out to the eventual champion. Or oh, sorry, eventual silver medalist, Kuna Wood, Wood son. Uh, that he was going to go from strength to strength. But prior to this week in Shenzhen, he hasn't been passed a second round. This is the fourth meeting right. between these two players. And Nishimoto has won the last two. The last time was in the first round of the Denmark Open earlier this year. Now I think Nishimoto took his ends. I'm not quite sure, so I couldn't really hear that. So the left-hander from China, Zhao Junpeng, is 27 years of age, 185 equates to 6 foot 1, born in Nanchang in Jiangxi province. And he went down two places on the world ranking. This week to 35, he will go up again, no doubt about it, has been as high as 11. So looking at his matches, he beat Wudoyo in 29 minutes in the first round. Then Rasmus Agemka, who in the first round has put out the Asian Games gold medalist. And then the quarter-final, he beat the left-handed Rachel E of Chinese Taipei. So to Kenta Nishimoto, is a couple of years older at the age of 29, from Mia Prefecture on the southeast coast of Hong Shu. Five foot eleven, and he is four places down from his career high of nine. He spent eight weeks in total across three different spells. Asian Games bronze medalist in 2018. And looking at his matches, uh, will he beat the winner of the all Masters, Masters, Rajawat, in the first round, then the reigning world champion, Kun Luwida-san, in three games, and the quarter-final against the former All England champion, Lee Zia. 
ready to play. So the umpire calls the players ready to play. And our court officials for this one, Masif Juhari of Indonesia. He is the umpire for this. Let's look at the Japanese coaching bench. Then shall the Chinese. Josh Wanja on the right as we look at them. There's our umpire. So it's Judge Manfred Shum from Hong Kong, China. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Chang Junhong, China. And on my left, Kentan Isumoto, Japan. Chang Junhong, sir, double play. So the World Championship bronze medalist from last year, Zhao Junpeng, the left hand at the far side of the court. And the Asian Games bronze medalist from 2018, Kenta Nishimoto. I was telling you that Chao Chung Pung has been in a <laughs> semi final since the World Championship semi final last year in Tokyo. He hasn't actually been in a quarter final since then either. 14 first or second round losses this year. He looked down at the line a couple of times, you know, trying to get his spatial awareness. Smash. It was a short lift, and in all honesty, it got what it deserved, but he put that away. Very well indeed. So, a challenge from Nishimoto. the instant review to have a little check of that. Yeah, it was out by a whisk. 
Oscar. Good call, line judge. My goodness me. That sharp. Imparting a bit of slice on that. Yeah, bringing it down at a very acute angle. That's very clever play. Well, it looked as if he touched the net. Let's have another look. Or was it the shuttle? Oh, that's difficult to tell. That is difficult to tell. Well, it wasn't called by the umpire. Longest rally so far. 25 shots. There. Winston, so whether it was a, a fault and his opponent touched the net or not, seems to have fired him up. Chow Chun Pong. Yeah. Sort of a half smash. Change of pace, deceiving the left hander. Five points. Yeah, clearly long. Yeah. Got deflected badly by the neck cord that push from Chadron Punk. And the shuffle not nearly deep enough because of that deflection.
So to the mid-game interval, and it is a two-point advantage for Kenta Nishimoto. It off well anyway. Applauded by Chow Win. Chow Win was actually in the final of the China Masters, the last time that a Chinese player won the men's singles title back in 2017. Lost out to Tian Hao Wei. at the front of the boards is Nishimoto. Not altogether surprising because I think that Chao Jun Peng has been rushing the net more. Now that he's settled, like now, and that. Oh, that's beautiful defense. That is wonderful from Nishimoto. Perfect placement. Yeah, good attacking play. Challenging, but he's wrong, he's got no challenges left. Well, there's a lot more than a, a final riding on this semi final for Nishimoto. He has to win the tournament to qualify for the World Tour finals. Maybe he wins the tournament, he pushes out on his Antonson. That's in. 
Good challenge. Oh, my goodness, he slipped. Yeah, I think he's okay, thank goodness. Oh, the ankle almost went, you know. Mm, yes, a little bit of hyperextension of the knee, too. Moving the left hand up, and that little block, that final shot. The big key there was taking it early. Look, he had so many options. Could have pushed it, could have played it cross court. Chose the straight block in the end. Very, very well worked. Outmaneuvering his opponents. Played him deep into the forehand side, then brought him forward to the net on the backhand side. And by then he was way out of position. Away from the open game now. Kenton Ishimoto. A little fun fact about this man, he's naturally left-handed.
That would have been interesting, wouldn't it? Had he played badminton with his left hand. Oh, that's clever, clever play from Jaldrin Punk. Well on that defensive shot. Clearly in. Wonderful control. But unable to defend the smash at the body. And it is three game point opportunities for Kentonishi Marto. way to finish the opening game. A wonderful smash straight down the line from Kenta Nishimoto. That's a beautiful shot. 20 minutes for the opening game. And Some very impassioned coaching there from Chiao Bin. Much, much calmer coaching on the Japanese side. Yeah, got back so quickly to play that smash. And Zhao Junpeng simply wasn't ready. Even by the speed of shot. Yeah, well taken.
judged. Made his big breakthrough, Nishimoto, last year when he won his home event, the Japan Open. That was a Super 750 event. It was his first ever title when playing in his seventh final. the body I like the, the position of the smash there one down the forehand side then this one goes across oh no it's the second one so two down the forehand and then across the body clever is Nishimoto. process playing the drop trying to bring Nishimoto forward thereby making him move as much as possible and just made the error. Chowton Pung. threatened looking to pounce he backed off you see then he had to lift the shuttle I think he's got to stand his ground at the front of the court and again he's not really threatening 
Whereas his opponent there is. Well, he needs to be careful here, Chowdhury Punk, because I get the impression that Kenta Nishimoto is beginning to stamp his authority on this. lead now for Nishimoto. Six point advantage. Nice and then again, well he's dictating the pace and therefore he deserves his seven-point advantage at the mid-game interval into Nishimoto. And time for a change of tactics, I suspect, for Chowton Punk. He wants to reach his first final since the Indonesian Open last year. <laughs> So 11-4, the advantage to Kenta Nishimoto, having already won the opening game. And as I was saying before the coaching break, Zhao Junpeng, I think, needs to change his tactics. This isn't working for him. And again, having played a nice net shot, not threatening. Goodness me. Yeah. And then Nishimoto stood his ground at the net when he saw that his opponent was turning to play the backhand from deep in court. That one. Look where Nishimoto was standing. He was ready and waiting at the net. This rally so far at 33 shots. Yeah. 
he's sharp on to these pushes. Got back very quickly there, Nishimoto. No call from the line judge. Now there's a call. 14-6. Yeah, it was clearly wide, but there was just no call from the line judge initially. Nishimoto. Well played. Ten point advantage. And it's difficult to see the way back in all honesty. Jogger and Punk. expression <laughs> well and it's absolutely imperative one senses that Belgian punk needs to have a little run of points umpire not allowing Nishimoto to tell down Good umpiring. Play should be continuous. hitting winners at will at the moment, Nishimoto, and he's just two points away from his third final of the year. Well, you have to hand it to Nishimoto because he's absolutely come out for this semi-final, determined to play his style of game. And he has forced that on his opponent. Point opportunities, a whole host of them for Kenta Nishimoto. First time of asking 21 17, 21 8, and it will be an all Japanese men's singles final tomorrow. What a good performance by Kenta Nishimoto. Just 
just under 40 minutes. And through to a third final. 2023. Well, he's still in the hunt to qualify for the World Tour Finals. And he has to win tomorrow's final, by my calculation. But to sneak into the World Tour Finals in front of Arnaz Abitonson. But confirmation of how he's booked his place in the final 21-17, 21-8 in 40 minutes of play. So one more semi-final to come. It's the second men's doubles. It's an all-Chinese affair. The youngsters, Cheng Bo Yang and Liu Yi up against the new world number ones, Liang Wei Keng and Wang Chang.